So good morning and welcome over to Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. Came on over to have some fun because it's been a while since we've been theme to Bush Gardens. I think, I think today I'll ride Falcon Fury. Not 100% sure. I, I really want to try riding at this time. Um, I think if we, if I don't chicken out like I did the last couple times, and it's a little windy, a little cooler, but once you get in the sun, it's really nice. Um, you'll see around that they do have the Bush Gardens Food and Wine Festival going on, but that's only weekends. And we don't come to the theme parks on the weekends because it's a little busy, so. But we'll probably see some of the stuff they have and maybe see if they have any of their menus out. We might check some of that out, so. We're gonna head on into Bush Gardens today. <laughs> So as soon as you walk through the gates, they have a little uh, place you can take pictures. I'm pretty sure during the weekends we'll have something. And they do have festival guides here. So if you do come on the weekends for this, make sure you grab your festival guide, grab yourself a fun picture. So it's kind of on the windy side this today. Like, it's very windy. It doesn't help that we are kind of going through like another cold spell, which really upsets me because I don't like the cold. That's why I live in Florida. It's for not the cold. We're gonna head over to this area, probably go see what Cheetah Hunt, Cobra's Curse, and for me, Montu looks like, because Allie doesn't like Montu very much. It gives her a really bad headache. So we're gonna go into the My Own Bee Reserve, because we've never been in here. Well, I mean, Allie has, but Allie said also there's a gorilla that was born here that was actually born on her birthday, so she really wants to see if she can find it today. Here's kind of a quick map of it. So we entered right here. We're gonna work our way up and around. All the way to the end. So even though there's no chimpanzees out here, I wanted to see, this is their habitat, and it's really cool. So over there we walk, there's a big like window looking out, and then we walk this way onto this boardwalk, and you kind of get a cooler view. Now, I mean, I know they're not out, but I really wish they kind of were. So now I'm walking over by where this waterfall is into the research outpost. Again, I've never been in here, Ali has. I have never been in here, so I'm kind of excited to see what's in here. Pretty cool. So, after walking quickly through the research outpost, there's a gorilla right there, just munching on some, I think he's munching on something. Can't tell what it is, but he's munching on something over there. Standing and walking upright on their two legs. Just like with humans, communications are very important to a gorilla's group and family relationships. And like us. I always like how the cheetah hunt kind of incorporates into this area because it looks, I like the whole like, like kind of run, like the, what do you call it, the ruins over here and you put a ride right through it and then I love how they put it through the savannah over there because it's like supposed to be the savannah area because I watched a, um, I watched a documentary about them building this ride and how hard it was to get it to build so it's kind of fun to ride it and see all the cool things that it shows. So we want to ride Cheetah Hunt, but I think like we always do, we're actually going to wait a little bit. Because the problem with Cheetah Hunt, it's like the first ride you can come to. So even though it's right here and it's usually a fast loading ride, it's the first ride everyone comes to, so it's a 20 minute wait. So I think we're going to head over that way and head towards Egypt to see what Cobra's Curse in Montu looks like. So there's Cobra's Curse right there. Five minute wait for it, and we will be more than happy to wait five minutes for it. This is one of the things you always want to try to avoid going to cheetah hunt first because, like, later in the day when we go, it's going to be literally no wait for it. So, we're going to head over here, and I got to put the lock, I got to put everything in the locker and grab the GoPro because I did bring the GoPro today. Oh, <laughs> 
compass curse. You are mine for all. <laughs> So I don't know if you could hear me or not with the GoPro just because it has the protective casing on it. We were actually, um, so at Cobra's Curse if you are handicapped and you need like to the transition from a wheelchair, they actually offer a, a side bar, a side area where you can actually, like it, it gives you enough time as you need to get onto the ride so you, they're not, you don't feel rushed. And then what they do then is so then they take the track and they move it over like I have shown. And it's funny, we've seen that before. We saw that at Disneyland on Space Mountain. And they happened to say, oh, two, oh, you guys are gonna ride in the front on that one, and we actually got to move over. So that was pretty cool. And I like, the, I like that type of design because it gives guests who have a hard time transitioning into a ride vehicle a little bit easier time of getting into that, so. So that was a lot of fun. I, I just like riding Monty. I like riding big rides like that. But it was kind of cool. I don't know if you heard me or not, but as we kind of went over a couple of the loops and we did like one of the long uh, flyovers, underneath us was the train and the train was going by. That was pretty cool. Um, and, I'm, and I had a whole road to myself, so I didn't feel as bad about having the GoPro out because when I do that, I always try to sit on the right side, but the right side it was locked, so I had to sit in one of the middle two seats, so I sat in the middle left seat. So Allie tried to see me because she was trying to take pictures with this camera. But she's not used to this camera yet, so. But that's pretty cool. I like that. I had a lot way too much fun with that. So looky there. We did our two I did well, I did two rides. We did our two things over here and look, cheetah hunts, 10 minute wait. I think we should go jump on it now, since we're over here. Oh 
don't know about you guys, but that is by far one of my favorite rides ever. I love that ride. Like, first time we rode it was the coolest thing ever. So, I recommend that ride all the time. And, it's, and I feel like there's no bad spot on it. I feel like the front or the back is pretty good. Now we're just gonna walk around what's called the edge of Africa, kind of look at some of the animals and work our way towards um, Falcon Fury. Ooh, the lemurs are out today. Look at them, they're really active. Oh, look at all those. Look at them. Have you watched Meerkat Manor? This is pretty cool. Jamie Sullivan had a lemur named Sammy. Looks like a cat. A long tail. Yeah, he does. Look at that. Oh, 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 he's running. Oh, that's very funny. They're over by the hippo and he's kind of... These lemurs are really active today. It's kind of cool, actually. See if we can find any hippos, because look at all the fish. Usually there's a couple hippos in here and I can't find any. There are hippos here? Look, there's the hippo. He's kind of chilling over there. I think he's asleep. From what I know from Killing Draw Safari, I know hippos can hold their breath up to seven minutes. Yeah, that's what they said. And as you can see, that's the big cat life right there. Just sleeping away. Big cats usually sleep up to like 18 to 19 hours a day, and they do all their hunting at night. So heading into the animal connection, right across the way, there's a bald eagle. He's walking around. Oh, he's walking around. Oh, is he gonna? Oh, there he goes. That's what I wanted. <laughs> oh, we found, found a little baby alligator. He's climbing out of the out of the pool. Yeah, oh, oh, don't don't fall. <laughs> he wants a heat lamp. Oh. Look at the claws. You know. It's a, it's It's the red ruffed lemur right there. He looks very confused. I'm trying to zoom in on him, but every time I zoom in, it gets really blurry. It's really confused what's going on around him. Here's a Florida cottonmouth. North America's only water venomous snake. Like, he, so that means he goes through the water and stuff. Heading into Pantopia, and I'm gonna tell you what, I'm still shaking and doing that. <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit it either. Like, that scares the absolute daylights out of me. Like, I will do coasters every day of the week. That thing, it's like it's all down. Like, it wouldn't be the just dropping, I wouldn't mind. But when you're facing just straight down, like you just face down, like that. I just, oh god. Uh, someday I'm gonna do it. Today, still not it. I think while we're over here, we'll do Scorpion, which is over there, and then Sand Serpent, which is over there, the little wild mouse ride. Didn't get to do that last time because it was closed. I always find it funny, Scorpion doesn't have the title, like the name right here. This is actually the name, the name, wow. The t uh, little title's right over here. So you have to walk this way to get in. My grandpa was 16, he operated this. Tells you how old. My grandpa operated this. Tells you how old. Die. Tell you how old this ride is. Stop over here where the Twisted Tails pretzels is to see if what kind of pretzels they have. Because we're kind of, Allie's kind of hungry. I'm not really that hungry, but you know, something to snack on. Like, because we want something to snack on right now. So we're gonna head in here and see what they have. I forgot to show you, we actually ate over there. We had, I got a jumbo pretzel with like beer cheese, which is pretty good. And Allie got little um, cinnamon, cinnamon pretzel nuggets with some creed cheese icing. So it tastes like a cinnamon bun or cinnamon bun. Yeah. So, but now that we've had a little bit of something to snack on, we're actually gonna head over to the Sand Serpent and ride Sand Serpent, because we haven't done this one yet, or we haven't done, we didn't do it the last time they were working on it, so I'm excited to do it again.
like the big swooping turn. Big swooping turn! Uh, uh. That one hurt. So I missed part of it because the GoPro wouldn't turn on. And I should have checked it before we got on the ride, but I waited until we get on the ride, so that was fun. But now I think we're gonna stop over at the so we're still in Pantopia. We're actually gonna stop at one of the little stands and fill up our water our um I think fill up our cup here. So now we finally did leave Pantopia. We headed over here to where Kumba is. I can't remember what they call this area, and I always always forget to look. We're gonna do Kumba. Kumba's such a fun ride. They've been so, I remember when we first started coming to Bush Gardens, it only ran one train on it. Last time we came, they were running three trains. I was kind of stunned. Then they're running two today, last time I saw. Kumba is such a fun ride. It's a classic coaster too. It's like one of the oldest coasters out there. But I love the, so right here is the double loop. So this is like the iconic feature where it comes, you come off the brake run down here and it goes loop, or it comes, I think it goes loop around and then it comes back around, but it makes for a really good picture. Oh, this is my favorite part right here. It's watching the train come over. Cause the train comes up and then it's, I think it's about to do the little turn. It's doing the loop right now, it sounds like. Oh yeah, it's about to come over here. Cause I like when you run into it. So here we go. Here it comes. So we're gonna go into the orangutan outpost for the orangutans because the little sign back there says the baby's out today. It says it's out. Just gonna see if we can't find it. Well, there's a ranking up there. Is that where? See up there, Allie? Yeah. Can't tell if the baby's with her or not, but there's at least a ranking up there. Oh, yeah, it is. I saw the little hand. You see? You see, Allie? Yeah. Well, we're finally uh, to our final ride of the day to Shikra, which is actually a fun ride. It's a dive coaster over 200 feet tall. Can't do the vlog flume today. They're currently doing some maintenance on it. Ready for a drop? We just did this drop 
Sorry, the sun's in y'all's eyes. Is that better? No, it's still kind of crap. But you can see the you see train. Oh, there it goes. These crazy little birds. They're very. Woo! Hello. Hi, Mr. Bird. Oh, yeah? You're too very active this morning? Or is it afternoon? It's afternoon now. There's a red knot hornbill. And they usually live in South America. Indonesia. Cool. So, if you come during the weekends when Bush Gardens has its food and wine festival, it's actually going to be over here after you walk. So we came from Stanleyville and through Sesame Street this way towards the main entrance. This is actually where it all is. And over here is like one of the things that tells you how many, like what the booths and everything are. So it kind of going on all here through all this area. And these are all the different booths they have. And you can see each number corresponds to something on the map. So like one, this one is right here. And this is where we just walk through here. So the flamingos, everything right here. So we're like in this area right here. First one's over here. So, you know, I kind of wish we could do this for the ends on the weekends and we don't have to have this stuff on the weekends. So that's a good example. This is number 24. So remember that little map I showed you, 24? This is 24. Thing says cork yard. Instead of courtyard, cork yard. I like how they made little spoons and like forks and stuff to make it look like little butterflies. And then right behind us is an orangutan. The topiary. This is actually pretty cool. The topiary. And you can see Sheikr in the background. I guess this will be part of the food and wine festival as well. Because remember when we came for the um, Christmas time, this is the Christmas town area. And this is where the concerts all go on in the Gwazi Park area, like behind Gwazi. So, like this uh, March 10th is the fray. And we'll come over here and look at the full concert list. So Bush Gardens Food and Wine Festival. Concert lineup, but they're only on Saturdays and Sundays. But what, what I'm more one more impressed is so you know this one says one more coming soon, but there's Flow Rider on April 28th. That one's gonna be popular. They got a lot of good stuff here, so that's pretty cool. Well let's look, look at this here, Topiary. It's a little cobra. That's pretty cool actually. I feel like the eyes are following me. <laughs> So we came up to where the Zagora Cafe is. If you come up and around this way towards Gwazi Park, that's where all the food and wine festival stuff takes on. We go around the long way starting over by Cheetah Hunt and everything, but if you want to go just for the food and wine, that's where it is. So we're just an amazing day at Bush Gardens today. We got to ride everything. Um, I rode everything. Ali just didn't ride uh, Montu. Did still didn't ride <laughs> Falcon's Fury. I'm still chicken out every time. Like I feel like I'm gonna do it, and then I get there and I look at it and I go, no. So Besides that, it was a really good day. Very cool. wasn't very hot. Not summertime weather quite yet. wasn't super busy. Just, it was just a really fun day. And plus, we got to see a little bit of the food and wine festival. So, with all that being said, as we do leave Bush Gardens, we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>